Hello again YouTube, just doing a quick update to my EDC today. I've gone through uh, quite a few changes here since the last EDC video, so I thought I'd show you some of the new stuff I've done and um, kind of give you a little bit more detail on it. Uh, first of all, I have changed the gun I carry. Um, I'm carrying this uh, Smith & Wesson MMP40. Now this is the full frame, um, so it's definitely a pretty big gun to conceal. Uh, in 40 it does have a 15 round magazine. I carry two of those one in the gun loaded and one with me of course. Um, I find this is a really nice gun. It's actually as thin, actually a little thinner than the compact and subcompact Glocks. So the only thing really is it's about a half an inch longer than say a Glock 19. So I feel like you're getting a lot of gun even for the size. So that's the first change. Um, and that, um, with that particular gun, I've actually switched to outside the waistband from inside the waistband. This is a DeSanti leather holster. I don't really like the thumb break, but it's nice and secure, so it works, and this uh, makes it a little easier to conceal that larger frame and uh, helps it ride on my belt a little bit better. So that's the first big change. Uh, second of all, um, I've upgraded a little bit as far as what I carry as far as blades. Uh, of course, I still have my Leatherman, but I've recently got a Benchmade. Uh, this is the Mini Griptilian. This is the Cabela's specific or Cabela's only version with the D2 tool steel blade, which I really like. So I've been carrying that with me. I have a couple other knives like uh, Spyderco Tenacious and a couple other blades I swap in and out, but really the Griptilian is my favorite right now. Um, I still have the same old smartphones I did before, the Samsung Galaxy S3. Still working pretty good for me. Um, I did change the case. This is a uh, OtterBox, but it's their new thin two-piece case, so makes the phone a little smaller in my pocket. Uh, not so clunky, which is nice. Um, a lot of the stuff hasn't changed on my keys. One of the biggest changes probably is I went ahead and got rid of the shard for right now, and I switched to this Boker uh, key tool. Uh, this is 440 uh, stainless steel. It's got a little blade on it pry bar can opener so that's kind of cool a little kydex sheath so it doesn't cut anything up in my pocket seems to stay in there pretty well open bottles real well um, i still have the magnesium and ferrocium fire starter phoenix e01 kensington thumb dry still holding up not too big not too many changes there uh, got a new sheath for my leatherman um, the old one wore out of me so i still have the charge tti the new style uh, with the different design for the titanium on it. Also in this, I changed out the bit set, so it's now a complete set in there that holds a little bit more. Uh, this is really nice because the Torx match almost all of my knives that I need to work on, so that's nice to have around. And of course, I still have my Streamlight MicroStream. Still my favorite EDC flashlight. Uh, one thing that's awesome about this is you can toss um, a lithium AAA inside of it. it. Makes it run for a really long time. Uh, and of course, still has the same clip that I showed you last time. I used on your hat as a headlight, so that's a nice double function. The one other thing I did upgrade is I upgraded the, my wristwatch from a Casio G Shock to a new Casio Pro Track. This particular one, oh, it's actually in compass mode right now, has a compass, uh, an altimeter, and a barometer. Also has light at um, the luminescent hands, glow in the dark, what have you. So um, I've really been enjoying this watch. Uh, a little, lot more information than my old one used to give me. So anyway, that was just a quick update to my everyday carry. Thanks again. If you like my video, please uh, like and definitely subscribe for more content. Thanks.